In this segment, you will learn how to replace a damaged quarter panel using Fuser 108B. Benefits of using Fuser 108B include OEM approved technology, no welding required, lifetime guarantee. Prior to replacing the damaged quarter panel, we recommend straightening the unibody on a frame machine. Vehicles previously bonded with fuser adhesives will withstand the pulling stress of unibody alignment. Once the damaged car has been straightened, begin removing the damaged panels with an air saw or air chisel. Remove only the large portions, making sure not to cut into the mating flanges. Also, if sectioning is required, measure and mark the bond area. Leave a one inch overlap on the existing panel when cutting. Using a spot weld cutter, drill out the spot welds and chisel the remaining edges. Pay special attention to preparing the damaged edges. First, straighten the damaged edges using a hammer and dolly. Then grind all the mating surfaces to which fuser metal bonding adhesive will be applied. It is important to grind all mating surfaces to the bare metal. If there is a galvanized coating, be sure to grind to the bare steel. Use compressed air to remove dust and debris. Next, remove any E-coating or galvanized coating in the bond area of the new quarter panel with an angle grinder. The bond area is the portion of the new panel that will contact the quarter panel inner structure mating flanges. When sectioning the new quarter panel, use masking tape or a scribe to mark the cut line for removing the excess sections of the panel. Be sure to pre-bevel the edges to less than 10 degrees and taper the beveled edges for a smooth transition. Pre-fit all parts to ensure proper alignment. Fuser Adhesive Chemistry has anti-corrosive properties built into the adhesive, so you don't need to worry about future rusting. When reusing the original acoustical foam, use Fuser 800EZ to attach it to the new panel. For this repair, we will use Fuser 108B adhesive. Fuser 108B adhesive has a work time of between 40 and 50 minutes at 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius that is ideal for medium to large sized panel installations. It is important to note that prior to using any two component adhesive, seam sealer or foam, Dispense a small amount of material from the cartridge to ensure an even flow of both components. Then attach a mixing tip and dispense a small amount of material until uniformly mixed. This is a key step in all repairs. Apply a 3 8 to a 1 half inch bead of Fuser 108B adhesive to the prepared edges of the new quarter panel, making sure that all bond areas are adequately covered. Properly position the new quarter panel. Once the panel has been positioned, it should never be pulled away from the vehicle. If repositioning is necessary, slide the panels against one another. This maintains contact between the two surfaces and adhesive. Maintain evenly distributed pressure to all areas by clamping tightly and evenly. The glass beads in the adhesive prevent overclamping. Apply screws or rivets in hard to clamp areas. Although we applied Fuser 108B adhesive to the new panel, there are cases when the adhesive should be applied to the damaged vehicle surface as well. Wipe off excess adhesive prior to curing and allow Fuser 108B adhesive to cure one and a half to two hours. Remove the clamps and grind down all remaining adhesive from the cosmetic repair area with a DA sander or angle grinder. For an undetectable repair, apply a fiber-filled body filler to any section seam. Allow to cure and contour sand. Next, apply a skim coat of conventional body filler and allow to cure and rough sand. Once the adhesive fully cures, block sand, prime, and refinish per the paint manufacturer's recommendations. Apply Fuser Factory Match Seam Sealers 800EZ, 123, 123EZ, or 129, wherever a seam sealer is required. This completes the quarter panel replacement procedure using Fuser 108B. 
For more information, visit www.lore.com slash fuser. Call 877-ASK-LORD or contact your local Fuser distributor.